For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 5 of season 2 here at Napoli. The face cam is back. Temperatures have dropped by about... Well, probably a full 10 degrees, actually. So uh, it's cool enough to have the studio lights on. So I'm back with the face cam. Hopefully that will continue to be the case for the foreseeable future. In the last episode, we made a couple of very good signings. And we were interested in making one more, at least in this window. That being someone at centre-back. And the vast majority, bleh, the vast majority of you... We're keen on me signing Virgil van Dijk from Southampton. So that is exactly what I shall try and do. They reckon we are going to have to pay upwards of £25 million for him, which I'm willing to do. We have £30 million available to us and plenty in the wage budget to cover what he might want. So we'll start with a cash bid. But I think I've still got a couple of players left to sell. Uh, let's have a quick check. Uh, we do. We have Negro, Lesicki, Grassi, Maiello and Zuniga. So we could use either Zuniga or Grassi as make weight to try and boost uh, the valuation of that bid for uh, Virgil van Dijk. But he's the most popular option by far. Now in the last episode, we got ourselves a win in the Super Copper, the uh, version of the Community Shield in Italy. And we also got ourselves a win against Red Bull Salzburg in the Champions League as well. So we'll hope to start the Serie A season in similar fashion and then get a victory against Red Bull Salzburg or at least a draw at the very uh, minimum to ensure that we get through to the Champions League group stages today. And then in the, in, then in the next episode, I don't know why I struggled to say that so much, uh, we'll be uh, having AC Milan and transfer deadline day. Now, because of the way that uh, my in real life schedule is at the minute, there will be one video per day rather than two on the days that had two in the schedule for the next couple of weeks. But I will be adding in uh, stream footage here and there as well, so you will have extra videos to watch. But rather than have on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday two videos, it will just be alternating days now for the next couple of weeks until I get back from, uh, well, not only, yeah, it may even be three weeks because... Uh, I'm busy this weekend, then uh, next week I fly to the States for a week, and then the weekend after that, as I get back on like the Wednesday, and the, on the Thursday I'm away for a family wedding, and then I get back from that, and I'm then in Edinburgh for the next weekend. So, <sighs> it's a busy time right now. June is a hectic month, and May was pretty mental as well, so uh, we will be cutting it down to one video per day, but like I say, I'm going to try and stream... Uh, as frequently as I can throughout that period so that you get some Football Manager content, maybe some Ultimate Team content as well, some stream footage to uh, to watch to supplement the career mode stuff. The Cambridge United career mode RTG may actually finish throughout the period that uh, that we're thinking of dropping, or I am dropping the, uh, the video quantity down. As such, I might do a vote ahead of time before the end of that series to uh, try and determine which team we're going to do next in the RCG. So keep your eyes peeled over the next week or so. I'll probably update you on Twitter about that. So follow me on Twitter if you don't in the description. But we're going to continue on now uh, in this Napoli series. Like I say, one video per day for the next two or three weeks. Apologies, but I'm sure you'd rather have a video per day rather than me try and keep the main schedule and then end up being like, well, I can't keep up with it and then have like a week without any uh, videos. So uh, we will keep content... Keep the content flowing for you. Uh, I will ask for valuation here for from Carpi, but if they offer 550 again, I'll probably accept it just to make sure we get the money in the bank. But we'll start today with this game against Bologna after we've thrown that bid in for uh, for Virgil van Dijk. The aim this year is to win Serie A. It will be a task, a very tough task, but that is what I would like to do this season, is win Serie A. But I'm not sure how well we'll do. I'm having to rotate the squad slightly here, as you can see, because of the uh, the fixture congestion. But obviously, I prefer, because we only have two legs, 
and there are 38 games in Serie A, I'd rather play a weakened side here against Bologna and still stand a chance of getting a result to then play a first team against Red Bull Salzburg to guarantee the fact that we get through to the knockout stages of the Champions League because that's rather important and I don't want to be missing out on any kind of uh, Champions League football this season. So I'm going to do my absolute best to get myself through to the next round and that as in turn does mean that we will play a weaker side here against Bologna, but um, actually I will start D.O.R. over Allen, but really will start in goal to make his debut as Piliqueta will play his second game for the club here against Bologna and hopefully we can get ourselves a victory. Drop the video a like if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch and let's jump in. It oh, it's lovely football. Riedeval out wide here to Simone Verdi. Dinks that into the box dangerously. Aspilicueta gets it away. Does very well defensively there. Zielinski down to Diawara. We'll look for a counter. Lucas on the run. I've got men all around me. We'll go through there into Andrea Bellotti. I poke that through to Pietro Zielinski, who's in behind here. The chance to give us a 1-0 lead early on. And he slotted it away very well indeed. The defender threw himself at him there. And that was very close to a penalty, actually. But thankfully... We've been able to get away from the defender enough so that he couldn't reach me. I've got something in my eye, apologies. And he's buried that into the bottom corner just before the defender wiped him out. Cuts across the ball so it bends away from the keeper. To be fair, it was kind of close to the keeper. He perhaps should have done better with that. But uh, I'm going to try and dig this eyelash that's gone straight into my eyeball. and uh, Or dig out the eyelash that's gone straight into my eyeball. And we'll push on and try and score a second goal, shall we? Oh dear. Destro, nice tackle. It's going to drop back to Destro. Good tackle. It's going to drop back to Destro. Good tackle. It's going to drop to Riedewald, who's turned well into Giaccarini. Our former player, of course, but nowhere near the goal. Rog to Bellotti. Lucas is out wide. Good touch and turn. Oh, that's a lovely ball through to Marco Rog. I'm going to try and pull this back here to Diawara. And then across there to Zielinski. Oh, it's not Zielinski. It's Krejci. I've missed it. Well, I've not missed it. He saved it. It's a decent stop by the keeper. Zielinski will whip the ball in. Up goes Bellotti. Oh, Morante gets it around the corner again. Another good save from him. We'll try and put this one a little bit deeper. Get it over the keeper if he comes for it. He doesn't, but it's going to drop back here. I'm going to pull that back if I can. It's Krejci. There's Chirichez. Across to Rog. Around the corner to Lucas. It's a tight angle. And we'll pull it back. I just needed to keep possession in that situation. Rog, Bellotti. Can we find the space? We can. Well blocked by Jairo Riedewald. And it's going to go over to Zielinski for another corner. And Lucas underneath this one. It's going to drop. No, Morante gets his hands on it finally. And Bologna can clear their lines. Gulam. Uh, go on then. We'll go through there to Zielinski. Bellotti rather late in making his run. But I will still use him. Can I find the space for shot? No, it's a good tackle. I will get it to Krejci here though. And he could get past the defender maybe. Or turn inside. Or both. Okay, both. And Andrea Bellotti. Oh, I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have shot so early on his left foot. That's my mistake. That was a really good opportunity because he had some considerable space there, Andrea Bellotti, and I've wasted that opportunity. And Simone Verde could have played the man through in the middle but decided against it, and that is going to cost his team the potential of a very good counter-attacking opportunity. I'm going to throw it in, though, to Paul Guy, and they might still get an opportunity on goal, but perhaps not quite as clear-cut an opportunity as they may have had a moment ago. But they still are going to draw a good save out of Geronimo Rulli, and cause us some problems back here. Giaccarini will take the corner. Can you get an assist against his former team? No, because Rulli's done well to come and claim. Diwara out to Lucas. Good first touch. I see the overlapping run coming from Huso and we will use him. Try and turn inside. I've got two defenders there though, but there's Rog. Diwara is right there, but we'll go through that gap. It wasn't meant for Zielinski, but we'll work it out to Krejci. Hit it early. Oh, good save down low by Morante. Put in some top stops so far in this first half to keep the scoreline down. Is he going to stop this one? Oh, I need to have a, an effort for him to actually stop. Krejci deflected. I think that finally deflected off Lucas. It did, unfortunately. Out for a goal kick. Looks like it's going to be 1-0 at half-time. Here's Manuele Giaccarini down the left-hand side. It might not be 1-0 at half-time. Simone Verdi could pull this back to a teammate. I want to stop him from shooting, though. We didn't stop him from shooting, but we were able to get a good block on it. Made the mistake in the last episode of letting Omer... No, actually, no. It wasn't even this series. <laughs> Made the mistake in a similar situation in the RTG series to let Omer Toprak shoot against me. Uh, yeah, probably, actually, yesterday's career mode RTG video. And it caused me some problems. And Simone Verde is definitely better in front of goal than the Turkish centre-back. So I needed to close him down there. I did. We kept them out. Into the second half we go. Diwara through the gap there to Bellotti. 
Nice ball into Marco Rog, who missed a really good opportunity earlier on, but Diawara could look for Belotti here, who could turn the defender and try and get a shot off, rather than actually get the shot off. Kuznitski to Krejci, around the corner to Gulam, dink it, and in the middle will be Belotti, and well, he is much better than that. Verdi, I'll outmuscle him if I can, which I can't. And Simone Verdi racing away, that's a great ball in, Aspi does well to head that away. Actually a very good defensive header there from Cesar. Lucas will look to accelerate away if possible, although I've got someone closing me down. We'll go inside there to Rog and drill that out wide to Krejci. Shalinski's making the run forward, but we will go back to Diawara. Heavy touch, actually, from Diawara. That was frustrating. Belotti, nicely into Zielinski. And we'll go back to Belotti. And surely, 2-0. Game over. 13 minutes to go. Lovely little bit of interlinking play. Great move, all told, to be fair. And the final one, too between Zielinski and Belotti and it was actually a bit of a heavy touch but he was able to get there before the keeper got out to him. He missed a really good opportunity with his head about 10 in-game minutes ago but with his feet he's top quality. 2-0. Do you are it to Rog? Poke that to Belotti. Didn't quite have the uh, pace on the ball I intended. Never mind. And I see the run by Husite. Really nice ball out to him. We'll pull that back to Lucas who will surely give us a third and does. Running rampant now, two goals in four minutes. Napoli three, Bologna nil. This is exactly the start to this Serie A season I was hoping for. Zielinski to Rog, across there. And again, there's Krejci racing away. Can we get a fourth? Maybe. I'm going to try and use his agility. Oh, he's just so quick with his feet, Krejci. Shame the finish couldn't quite get across the line. Good save by Morante. But I love the way that Krejci changes direction. It's one of my favourite things to do with the winger is to cut inside as you've seen me do numerous times with uh, Dries Mertens actually in this particular series and Crazy's just so good at it he keeps the flow of the move going and doesn't lose any acceleration or pace when trying to change direction he just flows and zigzags and he's almost undefendable at times 3-0 victory there in the end against Bologna and to be fair it could have been much more if it weren't for fantastic saves from their goalkeeper Morante back to the transfer window the board are pleased with us as we jump back to the menus. As you can see, they wanted us to increase the club's worth by 15%, and we've already done it. So, turns out we're pretty good at, increase, at increasing club worth. That was one that was new at the beginning of this season. So, in the space of less than two months, we've done exactly what they wanted. And Southampton accepted the 23 million. I'll be honest, I didn't expect them to do that. He wants a big pay rise, but we can afford it, so I might as well give it to him. I'll say crucial first team player, and we'll start Virgil van Dijk alongside Cesar Aspilicueta, and that will be our first team centre back pairing and goalkeeper complete, which leaves us with about a week left in the window. Oh, now we've got an offer for Grassi. Give me. Four and a half Atalanta and you can have him. Don't need to let people go for cheap now. We're going to try and raise as much money as we possibly can. And see what we can do. But up next, before unfortunately Virgil van Dijk arrives, is going to be this second game in the Champions League qualification stage against Red Bull Salzburg. Sergio across to Gulam. Poke that down the line. And Dries Mertens runs through. Try and cut inside. And lay that across there to Marek Hamšík. This could be the perfect start. Oh, but it's not. Drilled past the post by Marek Hamšík. Should have done better. Really should have done better. I expected him to bury that. Getting caught on the counter-attack here. I need to win this header. And he's gone with his feet there. I have no idea why. Finish from Dabur. Why did the defender go with his feet? With that ball over the top? We now have an away goal each. So this is, again, the only situation in which we can go to extra time. Why has he gone with his feet? I cannot begin to explain that. The decision-making of the man. Great finish from Dabor, though. Take nothing away from that. That's the first goal Jerome O'Reilly has conceded as a Napoli player. And at least it was one of decent quality. But what on earth... What on earth was Azpilicueta doing there? Why would you... I can't. I'm just The more I think about it, the more I rate I'm getting. Let's just concentrate on getting ourselves an equaliser on the night and going back in front on aggregate, shall we? Let's turn inside there. We'll poke that to Belotti, spin the defender, and do exactly that. Screw you, Salzburg. 1-1 on aggregate, 2-1 on the night. 
Oh, no. 1-1 one, one on the night, 2-1 on aggregate. We are in front again. Great finish from Andrea Bellotti, thumping it home on his left foot. That's a relief. An immediate response. Jorginho into Mertens. Oh, that's a heavy touch. We will go inside to Jorginho again. Then we're going to have to turn back to look for support. There's Alan. There's Hamshik. I could go back to Alan. I could go to Bellotti. I have done. Oh, I didn't put anywhere near enough power on that. If I'd have held the button for a little bit longer, he would have rifled that into the back of the net in a similar fashion to the way he did with his first goal. Unfortunately, we're going to have to settle for still the 1-1 scoreline and the 2-1 aggregate lead. But of course, if Red Bull Salzburg score again, we will be left needing two goals because obviously away goals come into effect and it would mean that they'd be going through on away goals if we end up level on aggregate. So if they score one more, I'm going to need another two. So let's stop them from scoring one more, shall we? That's the plan. And Alan exe oh, not executing that plan perfectly. He did the first part of the plan fine. Aspilicueta is going to get the ball away. There we go. Actually, we might stand a chance of a counter-attack here. Get that to Jorginho. Took a while to get it under control. We'll look for Insigne. I've got caught there. Free kick. Oh, nice ball out wide to De Boer. He will keep that in. Seconds remaining in the first half, but it only takes a few seconds to score a goal. So we'll have to keep our wits about us defensively. De Boer going one way, then the other. Trying not to foul him there and give away a penalty. Decent cross. Brought down by Berisha and Tonelli smacks it away and needed to do so. Otherwise, that perhaps could have been a second goal for Salzburg. Oh, and De Boer's gotten away from me, and he could play that through ball, or he could go solo. He's still going here, De Boer, out wide to Ulmer, back to De Boer! Salzburg are dangerous, man. Salzburg are very, very dangerous. We're going to actually do well to uh, come away with the scoreline as it is. It looks like there's more goals in this for either side. Nice tackle by Tonelli. May have gone through the back of the defender to get to it, but I'm going to spray this out wide here to Lorenzo Insigne. I put just a little bit too much on it. He seems to be running through treacle there, Insigne. Just couldn't quite get the acceleration he needed. The pass was pretty poor as well, unfortunately. Oh, I thought I was just going to sneak that away from Ulmer there. Half an hour to go here, and the second half has been pretty dead so far. There's not been much happening. Velocity will play this out wide into Marek Hamšík. What's the as soon as I say that? We have a chance on goal. Unfortunately, Velocity's turn was a bit slow. Hamšík with the crawl. The craw the oh, what a save! I don't know why I struggle to say the word cross with the cross, but the corner will come in from Hamšík, and up we go. Was that Insigne? How was Insigne, who's about three inches tall, been able to win that header? I'm not sure. But that save from uh, Christoph Walker a moment ago. No, it's not Christoph, is it? It's someone, Walker. Uh, that save from their goalkeeper a moment ago was tip top with the tip of his fingertips. Lazaro with a free kick, lofted in, brought down well by Miranda. Ooh, that was a bit wild. There's 20 minutes left to go here. We are still in the driving seat, but as time ticks down. If they do get that goal that they're looking for, then I'm not sure we'll have time to score two. I would very much like to get another one myself earlier, so that if they do score, which there is a risk of, of course, because they've been playing well, if they do score, it still won't affect the outcome of the overall result. So I might make a couple of changes momentarily to try and freshen things up a little bit. Hamshik will play it through the gap, but it's a poor ball. Perhaps should have played that over the top rather than trying to thread the eye of a needle. And They've just said in commentary that they're about to make a substitution as well. So if they're freshening things up, I will do the same. Jorginho will come off and Zielinski will come on. Put Milik up top and let's put... Mm, we'll leave it as that. Just Zielinski and Milik. You never know. Arkadish and Milik's time at the club might be coming to a close this season. There's been some call in the comments over recent times for me to sell him on and replace him with someone that suits my play style a little bit better, which I do agree with. I do think I should do that at some point, but I don't think this window is the right time to do it, considering we have spent the majority... Of, where are you going? The majority of our funds on the goalkeeper and the two centre-backs. But once we confirm that Virgil van Dijk deal at the end of the episode, we'll, uh, we'll have a, an evaluation of how much money we've got left. And if I could afford to bring someone in, either using Milik as make-weight or by selling the pole on and then replacing him with someone with just a cash deal, then I will look into it in this window. But I'm thinking, oh, I'm trying desperately to work an opportunity here. I'm thinking I'm going to do that in this in the January, sorry, rather than this summer window. What a ball, by the way, to Miranda. I'm probably going to do that in the January so that uh, we can raise some more funds, perhaps, throughout the... Oh, no, he's gotten away from me there. He's still going here, Barisha. That's a pen. 
It's Azpilicueta again. He's mistimed the challenge. That's awful. It's absolutely awful from Cesar Azpilicueta. He may have single-handedly here, with the mistake for their first goal, and by giving away a penalty, he may have single-handedly seen us knocked out of the Champions League before we've even gotten to the group stage. It's one hell of a run-up here from De Boer. I'm going to go left. Oh, he went down the middle. I need two goals. In seven and a half minutes, I need two goals. Otherwise, we won't qualify for the Champions League. Willig into Mertens. We responded immediately in the first half. Can we do so again? Dries Mertens. Oh, he's cracked off the bar. Unbelievable. Oh, no way. As if. Well done by Milik. Knocks that down to Hamšík. I've got Insigne around the corner. I'm going to go back to Milik, but Hamšík can't sort his feet out. Oh, Dave. I can't... Oh, no, no. We're caught on the counter and they've got a man over here with Miranda. And he could go back across there. Is he going to go for goal? He is! And really with a top save. I can't believe we're not going to qualify for the Champions League because of two Azpilicueta mistakes. Oh, it's a heavy touch from De Boer. Unbelievable. We made the signing hoping to strengthen at the back defensively to challenge in the Champions League. And because of the change that we've made to the centre-backs, we aren't going to qualify for the Champions League. We're going to lose in the qualification stage against Red Bull Salzburg thanks to Azpilicueta's inability to A, make the decision as to what body part to try and clear the ball with in the first half, and B, inability to position his body properly and then time the tackle in the second half. I don't quite believe that that's going to happen, but it is. Well, that almost certainly means that there will be a third season here at Napoli. We're out of the Champions League. And I wanted to challenge in the Champions League and maybe win it with this Napoli team. But that is going to have to wait until season three. We're out. We don't qualify for the group stage. After the ecstasy of guaranteeing another signing, the heartbreak of being knocked out of the Champions League before we've even gotten going. Well, as the old adage goes, at least we can concentrate on our league form. We now have no excuses whatsoever for not challenging or even not winning the Serie A title this season. No excuses whatsoever. We have solely domestic competitions to focus our attentions on. Virgil van Dijk has accepted the contract offer. He's in now. We have £24 million to spend and £60,000 in the transfer budget. But Carpi have matched that deal. Atalanta aren't going to give me 4.5. They will give me 4.2. We might be able to bring in a striker. But it would have to happen very, very soon. If I... How much is Milik worth? I don't know whether we've got the time left. That's not your uh, thing, is it, Ches? I'm not sure we've got the time left in the window to be able to get a deal done. Milik is 23 million valued at. I will transfer list him. Try and generate some interest. But I don't think we'll have enough time left in the window to get something done. You know what to do. In the comment section, let me know what strikers I could potentially replace Arkadija Milik with. I'm heartbroken. I cannot believe that's happened. At least it means we'll fly through this second season, though. Oh, dearie me. I can only apologise. That's outrageous. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on more. I'll see you next time.